xin chào mừng tất cả các bạn chúng ta đang cùng đến với chương trình Việt Nam trong tim tôi và hôm nay là ngày đầu năm mới năm ức mùi năm 2015 và điều đặc biệt là Nguyễn Khang lại là người sẽ song đất trong một tảo dài truyền thống với một nhân vật người nước ngoài của chúng ta trong ngày hôm nay và hãy cùng xem coi những điều đặc biệt mà nhân vật của chúng ta chuẩn bị đón Tết cho năm mới như thế nào trong một cái không khí vô cùng đầm ấm và hạnh phúc nha. One minute. Oh, hello, chúc mừng năm mới. Happy New Year. Chúc mừng năm mới. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming today. Okay. You really bring good luck to our house. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, okay. Can we go please, inside? Please, yeah. please, 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 please. Okay. Wow, it's so amazing when I I I am into your house. Uh, so nice. So the atmosphere of the Tet holidays in Vietnam. Do you often decorate your home 20 years living in Vietnam? Of course. Of course. You know, we are expats and expats living in Vietnam, they have this kind of two kinds of celebration. Uh -huh. One is we celebrate Christmas because we are Catholics and also we celebrate Tet because we are part of Vietnam. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, how do you think, how do you enjoy the Tet holiday in Vietnam? Uh, honestly, really, Tet is about love. Uh -huh. It's not only about family. Sure, family. But family means love. Love uh -huh. means giving. Yeah. So what I love about Tet is even Vietnamese are very busy all the year, but during Tet, they join together, they forget the work, they forget everything, and they start giving. Wow. Oh, chúc mừng năm mới, Lisi cho tôi. Lisi, already I get you, alright. <laughs> so, uh, actually, can you tell me something about uh, what you are doing here in Vietnam, what your job? What is the special thing about uh, you are doing here? Why do people come to Vietnam? Of course, they come for a job, mm -hmm. sure. But really, when they come, how do we choose Vietnam and not another country? First, it has to be the people. When I want to build a steel factory, I must have design engineers. Do I have good design engineers in Vietnam? Engineers in Vietnam are number one. Really, you have good people for the industry in Vietnam. That's why Japanese, Korean, Taiwanese, Chinese, American, they all love to invest in Vietnam. Second, Vietnam has a stability. You know, this is something we love, safe. Third, the Vietnamese people, they welcome the guests. This is important. So we feel we are welcome. Okay, great. And um, I think that uh, all the products, as all the things you say is uh, maybe uh, the steel made in Vietnam. And that is one of the, 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 the special things that uh, the factors about Vietnam, you can transfer to your products to the people, right? This is yeah. branding. You go to many countries now, made in Vietnam is becoming very important. Thanks to who? Thanks to the Vietnamese workers, thanks of course to the technology, thanks to the Vietnamese engineers, and thanks to the whole atmosphere. So this is something very important, is branding. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell me about the story that brings you to Vietnam? Uh, 20 years, right? 20 years. Oh. What are the special occasions that you come to our country? You must first believe. <laughs> if you believe, yeah. everything can happen. I come to Vietnam 1993, but first you see the opportunity that people have education. First thing in any country, you must see that the people have education. Second, the government really allows investors to come. So we saw the big opportunity and I come and I tell my boss that time, please send somebody to Vietnam. He say, you stay and I stayed and I thought one year, but you know, it continued. But the difference is I was your size, now I am this size. <laughs> Again, Vietnam brings us wealth, happiness and success. Yeah. I want to really say thank you, Vietnam. Come on, Vietnam, because really we can get our dreams come true in this country. Yeah. What do you think about besides your success? about uh, giving back to the society responsibility. They say billionaires who are middle-aged, they are not happy in their life because they feel lonely. What makes you happy? Happiness is when you give, when you share, then it becomes happy. And the more you give, the more you get back. And we think, for example, we wanted to transfer technology to the students of Vietnam because really, the students are the future of Vietnam. And this country can have a big future if they have a good students to grow up. Mm -hmm. it's, it's part of the thing, you know, you, it makes you happy, it makes you believe more. Uh, the other charity activities that you often uh, pay attention to? A lot. Yeah. A lot, including Heartbeat Vietnam, yeah. 
including Operation Smile, where people have a problem with a smile, and really including, for example, health. If somebody who has a health problem in our company and the, the, the health insurance doesn't cover, we immediately increase the health insurance cover because the people are the most important in our company. When do you have the intention that to make something for the society? When do you want to do something for the people? You know, you do a lot of things for the society, yeah. in your shows, in many things. Mm. Uh, the TV, VTV do a lot of things for the yeah. society. We all, this is all part of life. It's a circle, it's a cycle of life. You give, you take, you give, you take. Uh, you know, technology, when we transfer technology, you help in a phenomenon now called global warming. You know, global warming means suddenly many, many storms coming to Vietnam mm -hmm. and the world. Many, many wind, many, many heavy rain. So what we do in our company and when we discuss with the universities is how we introduce the latest new design codes so that you can adapt to this heavy rain, huge heat. This is part of the giving and taking from the society. Yeah. You know you know the program Vietnam in my heart? Yeah. Do you know it? Yeah, I'll show love that show. Yes. Yeah. And you know what is that program? It's about passion and love. Uh -huh. When you have love, you can do. <laughs> that is the name of our show. Right. But do you know how to say it in Vietnamese? So now it's your turn. Vietnam Trong Tinh Toy. Uh, now we are in the um, atmosphere of the Tet Holiday. A uh, very good environment here. Uh, I think that uh, I will uh, have some special gift from you to the audience who is watching the special show on the first day of Lunar New Year, wow. uh, the first show of Lunar New Year. <coughs> Do you have any Vietnamese spirit gift, spiritual gift to the people? A song. A song? Wow, you can sing? A Vietnamese song. Oh, great. <coughs> Có nơi về đau về ngày xuân đêm, sương sương ơi xuân đã về. Tiếng chúc trao tu một bóng mùa xuân, sương sương ơi xuân đến rồi. Cánh em bay về cho tình hình nào nục, sương sương ơi xuân đến rồi. Những đôi mắt mà chào mừng xuân xa. Ok, Happy New Year. Chúc mừng năm mới. So on the Lunar New Year 2015. Uh, on behalf of the people who work Vietnam in my heart and also VTV, we have to say thank you very much for attending in the show and wishing you and your family have a very wonderful and successful year and also a best of luck, happy life. Thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you, Vietnam. Yeah. Quý vị thân mến, chúng ta vừa đến với cuộc trò chuyện cùng với ông Artip, một người hiện đang sinh sống và làm việc tại Việt Nam. Và với những thành công của mình, với những sản phẩm made in Việt Nam, Ông cũng không quên dành những công việc đóng góp thiện nguyện của mình với một vai trò mang lại những niềm hạnh phúc cho những người nghèo khó khăn và quan trọng hơn nữa là trách nhiệm đối với xã hội. Cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi chương trình Việt Nam trong tim tôi số đầu tiên của năm mới và chúc quý vị sẽ có một năm an khang, thịnh vượng và bạn sự như ý. Còn bây giờ, Nguyên Khang cùng với ông Adip một lần nữa xin chào và hẹn gặp lại. Chúc mừng năm mới.